Bread Street Kitchen is a restaurant owned by Chef Gordon Ramsay within the One New Change Retail and Office Development in London. History The restaurant cost £3 million, and the opening was delayed by a year and was subsequently expected to open on 26 September 2011. A week prior to that date, Gordon Ramsay posted on Twitter, Holy CR asterisk P one week to go. Not too sure if we are going to make it on time. It actually opened on 26 October, located near St Paul's Cathedral in London, inside the one new change retail and office development across two floors. It is next door to one of Jamie Oliver's Barbecoa restaurants. The interior of the restaurant was fitted out by Russell Sage Studios using reclaimed materials and exposed concrete struts. It was announced in June 2014 that Ramsay intends to replicate Bread Street Kitchen in a new restaurant in Hong Kong, due to open in the following September. On 23 June 2015 Gordon Ramsay officially opened Bread Street Kitchen in Singapore, at Marina Bay Sands. This marks his first foray into Asia. On 4 June 2015 Gordon Ramsay announced he will be opening Bread Street Kitchen in Atlantis, the Palm Dubai during the autumn of 2015. <inaudible> Menu The restaurant is fitted out with an open kitchen, a raw bar and a wood-burning oven. It has a wine balcony storing 2,000 bottles. Dishes on the menu include a burger made of beef short ribs, a mutton pie, as well as suckling pig. Reception Food critic Jay Rayner visited the restaurant for The Observer in October 2011. He described it as, "...loud and brash." but enjoyed several dishes such as a sea bass with aubergine puree, and a veal chop which he thought could have been improved by resting it longer. But he thought that the tamarind chicken wings were overpriced and of poor quality. The burger on the menu was, overminced to a paste, destroying both flavor and texture. He felt that the restaurant might improve with time. Tracy McLeod said that, nearly everything was good. In her review in The Independent, she liked the burger and suggested that that mutton pie was going to become the restaurant's signature dish. She found that her waitress wasn't as familiar with the menu as she would have liked, and that the service was very slow. Lauren Paxman praised the interior furnishing of the restaurant in the Daily Mail, and said that a yellow tuna loin dish with red onion and mint salad was so wonderfully tasty it was almost like an uber tender slice of beef. She also said that the chocolate tart was very, very close to perfection but a vanilla and gingerbread cheesecake was disappointing. The review in Metro gave the restaurant 3 out of 5, but said that this was based on the interior and not the food. It said that the veal chop was weirdly truncated and misshapen, as though it had a slab shaved off to appease the bottom line. And the crab tagliolini was cat food. However it did praise the chicken wings and the venison with sour cherries and celeriac puree. Time Out magazine gave the restaurant a rating of 4 out of 5, however Hardin's Restaurant Guide gave it a score of 4 where 1 is high and 5 is low for food, ambience and service and said that it was nothing special. Tanya Gold visited the restaurant nine months after it opened for The Spectator, saying that the service was fast and remarked positively about the food she tried. See also Food portal Bread Street Kitchen, Singapore